All right, so here's the deal. Everybody knows that Porsche is my favorite, and well, she's everybody's favorite, but that's a whole nother story. So basically, they're saying, well, actually, I've heard from different sources that the beautiful Porsche Williams may be let go, possibly let go from the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10, and I think it's all BS, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. Let me read this article to you guys from allabouttrh.com. So they posted the article on May 9th of 2017. Laura Sophia posted the article titled, Multiple Sources Confirm Phaedra Parks is Out on Real Housewives. Could Portia Williams be next? Now, she's not confirming it. She's just asking the question. But multiple sources from what I've seen are saying that she will be let go from the show, which I think are BS. Anyways, Laura writes, Rumor has it Phaedra Parks is being kicked to the curb for season 10 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Multiple media outlets, including E, Page Six, US Weekly, and TMZ, all have sources confirming Phaedra is not being asked back by Bravo. This news comes after part four of the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion where Portia Williams, excuse me, she wrote Portia Stewart. I don't, why do these publications keep claiming her name is Portia Stewart? That's not her name, it's Portia Williams, guys. Come on now. Get the queen's name correct. Come on now, Jesus. The news comes after part four of the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion where Portia Stewart, never again, uh, revealed. Yes, I'm hating on Cordell because he got to marry the most beautiful woman in the world. Actually, you know, he's my hero. Let me stop. Where Portia Stewart revealed some major tea about Phaedra. According to Portia, Phaedra was the mastermind. You call that being a mastermind? Behind the false rumors that Candy and Todd Tucker had planned to drug and rape Portia. And now Phaedra's lies may have gotten her kicked off the show that made her famous. Quote, they were so disgusted with her, the entire cast and Andy agreed Phaedra would not be coming back next season. She dug her own grave. She's considered a liability and will not be returning. Andy is upset, an insider told Page Six. However, Andy Cohen isn't ready to give Phaedra her walking papers just yet, despite being shocked by her lies. Quote, I was just very surprised, not just by the revelation that Phaedra spread. I was surprised by her. He said, quote, she seemed kind of withdrawn about it. As for Phaedra's season 10 role, Andy tells E, quote, who knows? That's the conversation we start having next week, end quote. Meanwhile, Phaedra is ready for season 10 and says if asked back, she will return. Quote, I would love to continue, Phaedra told people. Quote, obviously the show documents your journey and every journey has its ups and downs. End quote. It's not always accurate, of course, she added. But for the moments that they capture something that's real, like being a mom, helping someone out, having a very sensitive moment on television that turns into something beautiful, that's the legacy that counts when it comes to reality TV, the moments that change people's lives, end quote. Despite all the drama, Phaedra claims she doesn't regret anything about season nine, quote. What's meant to happen will happen, Phaedra said. They say you're set up to step up for the next thing, right? I know that I'm fortunate. I know that good things happen to me because I have my feet on frugal ground. I can't regret anything, but I know it's destined to happen, end quote. At this time, Bravo is not commenting on casting decisions for season 10 of Real Housewives of Atlanta, but it seems as if the writing is on the wall for Phaedra. And there might be another Real Housewives of Atlanta that needs to watch her back. I'll watch her back. I'll watch that booty. Portia. <laughs> no, let me stop being silly. <clears throat> And there might be another Real Housewives of Atlanta that needs to watch her back. There are stirrings that Portia may also be kicked to the curve for season 10. More to come on that rumor. I can't wait to see fake Dra gone. Don't let the door hit you. Honestly. If Bravo keeps Phaedra for season 10, I don't know if I could watch Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore to spread lies that someone tried to drug and rape another cast member. is disgusting. I know Andy has a soft spot for Phaedra, so I wouldn't be shocked. If she, if he tried to save her, I could totally see Andy demoting Phaedra and not firing her. However, I'm hoping these rumors are true and she's gone. Uh, worst comes to worst, 
Nini will make her life a living hell for season 10, and I'll enjoy every minute of it. Do you think Phaedra has been fired for Real Housewives of Atlanta? Would you miss Phaedra on Real Housewives of Atlanta? Does Phaedra deserve to be fired? Could Andy try and save Phaedra? Are you shocked Phaedra wants to return to Real Housewives of Atlanta? Do you think <sighs> Portia could also be fired from, from Real Housewives of Atlanta? Hell no. Uh, should Phaedra be demoted if she doesn't get fired? Okay, so that's the end of the article. Let me tell you something right now. Should Phaedra be fired from the show? Hey, that's not up, to, not up to me. She was friends with Portia. I'm not sure if whether or not she's still friends with her. And everybody knows I'm team Portia for life. So therefore, as Portia's biggest supporter, I won't speak on that because, you know, I don't want to say the wrong thing either way. So I'll just say this, though. I know that they're not going <laughs> to they're sure as hell not going to get rid of the beautiful Portia Williams. Number one, she did nothing wrong. Number two... The most beautiful woman in the world is on every show on TV right now. Celebrity Apprentice, you know, Dish Nation, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's on multiple networks for a reason because everybody loves Portia. She's the greatest thing that happened to television. She's the greatest thing that happened to the earth. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. She's the prettiest girl that I ever saw. And she's just the greatest and most phenomenal. And I, I, I got to go because I feel like I'm going to explode into a uh, it's a Porsche pyro I'm just gonna turn into like a Porsche fire and then I'll end up in an urn somewhere so I, I'm just gonna be quiet but man P Porsche it is it's so magnificent you know there's a reason why everybody hires her she's obviously very easy to work with very easy on the eyes everybody loves her everybody loves looking at her everybody loves her presence we all love her voice we all love the way that she dresses the way she looks everything about her so that's why everybody everybody loves Porsche she she is our national treasure she is the black Marilyn Monroe. She is the black Barbie. She's better than Marilyn Monroe and Barbie, of course. But you know what I mean? She it's, Everything the Porsche touch, touches, she turns it better. She has the Porsche touch as opposed to the Midas touch. And while, while the Midas touch turns things to gold, Porsche turns things to beauty. And beauty is worth more than gold. Because we trade gold for beauty, but we never trade beauty for gold. But anyways, I got to go. Uh, you guys know I have nothing but phenomenal things to say about Porsche. Um, let me know what y'all think about the most beautiful woman in the world below. Do you think that she'll be let go from the show? Hell no. And be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Be sure to hit that notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. I wish it looked like Porsche. It would be the most beautiful button ever. But yeah, hit the notification button and you'll be sent alerts to be notified. When new videos get posted, I stay talking about Portia because she's the most important person in the room, even when she's not in the room.